Okay. So, back with us and a log option. A couple of little things before I go to that. One is, all of my technology suddenly seems to be working. My mouse wheel has just come back to being a normal, cheap mouse wheel, which is fine. That's kind of all I expect. My microphone is switching itself on and off when I actually push the button. And what was the other problem I was having? Oh, my pen. Well, I'm, I haven't touched my pen recently. Uh, I'm tempted to believe it's, you know, accumulated all the problems and will explode. Now, back to bugs, not bugs, logs. I need to sort the logs out a bit. They're not really sensible. Animation logs work okay. The animation still works the way it used to work, which is you when you're rendering a, an animation or a video, you make a file. The image rendering now just works slightly differently. It renders to a temporary file and then you decide if you're going to save it. Now, in recursor classes, I have a render log file called last render log. That's not really the way it should be. And in order to just force myself to sort this out, maybe I will just rend that out and say so const render log extension. Is that bad? Would that be better? I want to do that. And I think that that's what it's going to be. Now, the problems that that is going to give me. Are going to, they are going to appear in recursor. For one thing, I'm going to have to recompile recurse. No, art render. And if I just for a moment make R render the build file, and it takes a moment to think for itself, I think I will see this happen, yeah. Now I've got myself a bit confused about what is actually inside project about the name. Because I've got a name, come on, and I've got a file path. This thing just tells me whether or not... Yeah, it's like saying when you save, are you presented with a file selector, basically. Uh, and I've also got the render name. When the project's f saved, that's what the, uh, oh me, 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 when the project's saved, that's what that name is. So that's like the project name. This It's not related to the name of what it is you're making. I dare say I will be reminded joyfully in the future of the roadworks going on outside as they install fiber broadband. Bless them. Now, so the render name really is the thing that I want to take into consideration when I create the render log. And yeah, let me see. Back to our render for a second. Let me think. It just writes the lines. And it writes it to this. And I think that at some point up here, 
Okay. Render name obviously is being constructed by the. Ah, uh, pardon my brain fog. It's worse than usual because of whatever they're doing. It's being constructed inside recursive based on whether you're rendering an image uh, and actually whether you're rendering well what format you're rendering a video and whether you're rendering an image or video it sets it all up in there I've got all these boring old temps all defined at the start are they yeah but dot temps globals okay I guess I did use all that I, I write things out so quickly and chaotically when, and without so much of a plan that it never really settles in what I'm doing. And I, then I go back and change it, apart from anything. Hey ho! Um, let's see, rendering the curve, recursor values, that, like, I'm just going to take that away, that's become a redundant thing to say. Who knows what some of these things are now? Well, I suppose I do. I know what a lot of them are. I should really label them. But anyway, because I'm about to add something. And what is it that I want to add? It's just a basic name value. I should call it render path, shouldn't I? Like, right this instant. Let me have a quick look then in here. Oh my god, look at all the places I have to change it. But I should trust that if I do this, control C, what is it, control G? Nope, not at all. Control H? Yeah render name and replace with render path so I replace 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 that's it then I go to recursor and I find the next and I replace I replace I replace and that is it. And I go to our render and I find the next. I replace, 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 replace. Okay. I just don't trust things and it's not because I think people are incompetent, it's because uh, who knows why. People can write a find replace routine. Clearly this has worked a hundred times, I've used it, but still feel like the computer's probably missing a number somewhere. Surely. Anyway. So here, I never really need to store just the name, except... Uh, can I just use the word name? No, I can't. I can use... Um, yeah, I'll use output name. And it's just for use generally here we are on render the first thing it does is it loads up this thing first off I want to say project file render loaded I don't care how many seconds it took I was just being stupid when I thought it was in any way meaningful now We are not abandoning it. Project file render loaded and at this moment I say output name equals uh, project mm, it equals get 
path. I hate the fact I've called this get path, but it does distinguish it from get directory. Get path I know is the wrong thing. Get path or oh, project dot project how it it such it sort of accentuates my error there because I'm using it more or less correctly here, I think. Project path uh dot strip extension Oh no, it's strip extension of this. My dog is upset, and I don't know if my dog is upset. Daisy! Sorry. Because of the noise outside, or because of not being allowed to sit with her favourite person. Okay. output file name and I will just here add log I oh no okay I'll say output name here and just say name output name and here I'll say output path Okay. I won't bother saying that. It's going to be pretty clear. Okay. I made a mistake here. Project output path, render path. There we go. Now, wow, I hope I go out there and the street's totally redesigned. Now, let's see, let's see. This is a problem now? Yes, of course it is. I realize I'm making more problems for myself. Oh no, I'm not really. Not really. Maybe I should just take the output directory as well. Let me think. Yeah, yeah. I want it. I'm, bo I'm boring, yes, and bored, yes. Well, no, I'm not bored, even if I am boring, but I am lazy. And really, what I mean is output directory equals this bit. And this bit equals this bit. No, it doesn't. It just equals the same. No, output directory is the path. Hang on, I'm doing this tot I was doing that totally the wrong way. I'm not, I don't want get path. I want get file name, or whatever I called it. Ugh, just as well I'm going round and round in circles here. Get file name, yeah, that is what I called it. Get file name of a uh, project render path. Okay, well. So, back down here. Back down here. And. The log extension, yeah. But I also add out. Put name. So that writes it into the app directory. I could put it in temp. I prefer just to stick these things in the app directory. It's probably a bad idea, but I should 
Well, I know what I should do. Anyway, then do that. Now, obviously, I see I feel like I'm. Oh, yeah, here. So I suppose here I can say um local log name string equals this No, I can't because I'm already using log name. What on earth? <sighs> okay, yeah, this makes sense. Let me see. I just wanted to be in the extension though because that makes it easier to strip. And I'll call them anim log and I will call oh man. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Yeah, uh I should really see these things coming, shouldn't I? just call it image log and anim log <laughs> and in recursor up here when I go wild I will say global uh, uh, log extension string equals dit dit, and then in. Oh no, not there! What am I doing? Not that! Not that! This in here where I go wild with globals. I say that ish that and then in on render I get down to here draw mode gradient solid alpha uh, single here is where I say log extension equals uh, image extension image log extension and here I say log extension equals anim log extension and here it's actually pa plus log extension then here I say no to all of that And I do not do the copy here. God damn it. I'm just getting into a dwam here. Right, okay, okay, okay. Because this is, that's not quite the way I want it to work. When I initially save the log, it should be to the apter, and it should be not to output name. And this is not to apter, this is to outputter. The outputter. And this kind of does belong down here. Let me just get this straight in my little brain. Oh, just settle down. 
if this is true, then do do this bit, output name, but here, uh, this is what I want, actually, actually, and I think I want to call it temp log file. And I want yet another little thing here, and it is this back. It's gone silent out there, and I feel alone. Uh, so now I just have temp log file. Or last log file. Maybe that's better. latest image file. My goodness. Yes, I guess. I'll have latest log file. Now let me think. What does that mean? Latest image render and last render log. This is right. I do. I do have to take the copying of the log out. Oh man! Yeah, I got to take the copying of the log at least in the cases case of images. I think I actually have to leave it in in the case of animations if the copy render log is true. And I'm getting tempted just to make the copy render log always true. But. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I will stay. Uh, maybe I will. I will just stick with it. Uh, uh, and that copy render log for images, though, no, now that I think about it, that has to stay back in recursive. This is. You know, I don't much like thinking about it this way, but it's got to be this way because I just don't want to hang on to every image I render. I want that to be an option that I'm offered easily in the image viewer. And I will just call this, oops, log. Maybe I should do that. Is that better? How often, fairly often, I suppose, I want to access those things down there. I'm going to try it for a second. Now, Let's just have a go at uh, putting this in. Last log file. Latest log file. And really, this is only going to happen if uh, project. What on earth was it? Single or image or render single equals false. And this goes to app. Oh, I suppose I'm going to do this again as well. Local latest log string equals actor plus latest log file latest log and latest log Now, I kind of wonder about this abandoned false. Is that just a relic? Because all it does, like, I, think, I suppose it might, yeah, no, that's right, yeah. It still has to copy the log, even if things have been abandoned at this point. And it may be abandoned 
at many points. It's a strange structure, don't know, not exactly delighted with it, but it does sort of work. But then at the very end, if abandon hasn't been false, and you want to copy the log, you get it. And the log is the output directory plus the output name plus the log extension, and it copies the thing from the app directory with the latest log file. So in the and it will only do that when you're rendering an animation. When you're rendering a single log, uh, a single image, that part of the process of copying the latest log will be done in the save file part. Excuse me. Also, well, yeah, so. There's a lot of bits of error checking I should probably be doing in amongst here, and if I was, like, not in Compton Coder, I'd probably be going, like, well, did this work? Did this bit work? When I, like, can I check here to see if this actually still exists? Did something come along and take it away? Yeah, for the competent. Anyway. Or if I was more competent, I'd know whether or not that sort of thing's worth doing, I suppose. So now, I think that, that I'm going to not compile it yet. I was going to just compile it there, but no, I'm going to make main the, the build file again so that I can come back into the cursor. And I can think about the Pung Gadget save response. And here, it ain't doing that no more. It's just getting the managed pix map from the texture from the material and saving it. And another event has to take place in either of these circumstances, if you overwrite or if there was no file there to begin with. And it's a microscopically convoluted process, convoluted. So I think what I will do is I will call it Ah. This is a special case. This is if showing latest. I'm just going to write it out here. I probably will end up making it into a function because exactly the same thing has to happen here. If showing latest flag, it knows it's just loaded this from the latest image position. I really am hoping that that is true. Where's the show latest button? Latest pong. And latest pong, I take it, is set when this thing is opened. Okay, I am going to take that that's the case. So if you're showing the latest flag, it knows it's loaded latest pong from the app der latest render file <laughs> thing. So I know, in theory, I should be able to say if uh, get file type uh, and it is app plus latest log file equals file file type file so only does it if uh, there is a log there this is quite nested that's my lambda is getting out of control again I'm gonna do this double nest thing, like double tab. Don't know if that really makes it clear or not. If get file apter plus latest log file equals file tab file, then I copy. It 
it is absurd, this, because now I have to recreate that file name. Well, do I? I'm taking... Mm, this is going to get tricky. This is going to get tricky. And I am going to have to make it latest image render and latest video render, because the video render would overwrite the log file. This is like... I foresee. You know, I do foresee. I'm just as well I didn't bloody... No, I don't. It's not that I foresee. I foresee there will be a problem. And then... Uh, not that... I can foresee the problem, otherwise I wouldn't bloody make the problem in the first place. Okay. This will become latest image log. And it will just be called latest image log. And do I just want to call it image log? No. I just want to call it latest image log. I won't call it last, I'll call it latest. This is not a thing that's dealt with by anything other than latest anim log. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know how I can build this in. Latest anim log. Image log extension, anim log extension. No extensions for these. It'll save me nothing at all. Well, it'll save me like a minuscule little thing. So now inside our render, I'm not wanting flipping actor plus latest log file. Log extension can go and latest log, the string, can come in. And latest log can equal latest image log. Oops. And latest log can equal latest anim log. And here, this can be actor plus latest log. Now, that's what it does. Log name, uh, this log extension. Oh, I need log extension as well. I hate this. I mean, it, I do not believe that by going round and round in circles like this, uh, I'm getting the best uh, logic at all. But on the other hand, it's making the logic. You know, it is bloody working. But this is, I really feel like I'm storing too much here. Too many idiotic little things. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. How am I doing here? 33 minutes. Well, I can only apologize to my future self. This is how slowly you think. On render, log extension as well. Log extension equals, uh, what is it, image, log extension, and log extension equals anim log extension. Okay, right, yes, I agree, I do, I do need something anyway. So now the latest log is just st saved as an anim or image in the actor. So you can render an animation, but the latest a uh, image is... Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. I'm finally kind of coming round to... Oh, hang on. No, yeah, okay. Okay. Right. It's fine. Only the latest image <laughs> saves a render. <laughs> I'm remembering yet. Yeah, an animation always prompts you for a file name.
it's implied with an animation that you're not just saving a temporary image. Right, okay, that is okay, still fine. But a, a temporary, a latest animation log and a latest image log is saved so that if you don't want to keep an animation log, uh, oh, yeah, just so that the animation log doesn't overwrite the latest image log. The animation will never overwrite the latest image. Uh, okay, yeah. So I have to remember I have these things which are latest analog, analog extension, latest image log, image log extension, saved back in recursor. Now, what I need to do is. Pung. So I want um, uh, so file names the entire path. Then I strip the extension. Then I add Pung to save it. Right. So in here, I can. Uh, I suppose I can just strip the extension of again. Fn equals strip extension fn plus plus the obvious thing which is image log extension copy file What copy file returns? Abu, if it manages it. Okay, well, you know what? I'll try and get into this kind of habit. If not copy file, do something. New message. Uh, I will do new message, but I might make a new type of new message. Did I already say a new message with a color in it? Yeah. I'm going to do that. App dir plus latest log file no latest image log and this is latest no I need to make main image log I need to make main into a thing actor plus latest lim image log comma fn new message or do I have to do project new, or like recursor new message? Damn, I hate to do that. I'm not going to do that just now. I'm going to put a blue beam in. Error thing should happen. Should, should happen. Uh, what's the problem? FN not available. Assignable. Oh, new confirm over. Yeah, okay. I've got F in here because this is the lambda, and it's about to come out of there anyway. So. This is a little routine called a copy log. And I can just put the shows I mean it's you know, it's it belongs to the pun gadget. Method copy log. And it accepts a file name. Does it? Yeah, it accepts a target path. Uh, I will accept a target 
image path. Now I could just say target path. It's just going to strip the extension and add the if uh, tp equals dip dip return. And this actually has to be abu return false. Down here return true. Now what needs to go into it is this. So, and, uh, oh, sorry, target path equals target path. And this goes to target path. So, if it's short, so this copy log thing, well, I suppose the question is, there's no reason I shouldn't uh, design it such that if you have, I mean this, wh what I want the system to do is whenever you load an image it looks for a, a log in the same directory with that image name and offers you the option to view the log. So that's not exactly that. Oh me! So yeah, and if it here, yeah, I need to do else here basically. So that's okay, uh, but the point is that if that's not really to do with whether or not uh, you're showing the latest, you could be offered to view a log of any file. Um, yeah. So I will make it that when you save a file under a different file name, it also is going to. So if you're not showing the latest, and you're being asked to copy the log to a target, right, okay, well you've got a problem then. I need to pass a source as well, I guess, do I? Save file. I not store I don't I I only store the path in path label I'm storing too much again I've got a place for the path here do I simply never load it never use it I've got the path label which I fill with the path but I never actually Return, refer back to the path. Well, okay. I will make use of it. And here, path equals p. But it'll equal dot dot. And here, path equals p. And here, path equals p. Uh, path can equal p there, yeah. In fact, I don't need to say anything down here. I can just say path equals P and then undo it if it turns out that 
that was rubbish. Path equals dot dot. Well, actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe I just keep the path. That's the path of your last attempt to load a thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make much difference. Do if you try and save, but you should never be able to save. Let me go back to response. Yeah, this is outside of before. Yeah, inside save that the material is not null. Anyway. So. So I have the path. So I should be able to say if get file type hmm. I'm not offering the option here. <laughs> see my sort of issue here is because I've elected to make pun as a gadget something that exists outside of the project or, or the recursor the current project is not available to me and it's within the current project that I store whether or not copying the log is something you want to do I have a feeling I'm about through sheer laziness. Like and it's I say sheer laziness, but what I don't want to do is get into putting the pung inside the recursor or making it too dependent on it. Already this the pung I guess I suppose the pung gadget's already doing things that belong with the recursor, really. All this latest image log file stuff, that's just recursor stuff. It's defined in recursor classes. Should I just bite the bullet? One of the other reasons I'm reluctant to is Recursor is growing. All of these other classes could be taken and put into yet another piece of source. Not yet another, I don't have that many pieces of source. But put into another piece of source. Um, and to reduce the size of the Recursor source. But moving Pung Gadget in there eliminates it from that bit of it. It just becomes another part of a really quite big recursor class. Like a really, really pretty... I suppose it is more or less all the editor in there. God damn it. Maybe I'm just being silly to even think of trying to keep it outside. It's to do with the editor, the recursor editor. If I want to use it outside, that will be fine. It won't be too much problem to remove the parts which are to do with the editor. I am not pleased by this. But I'll push on with this just now. Ah, oh, me. I'm going to have 
have to change my get path function to get dir because it's just idiotic using get path and it's extra confusing whenever I'm using the word path now but I'm being asked to copy a log from the source of with what name though? With the name uh, okay. Mm, I'm taking the path plus the file name from the target path. One second. This is just convoluted and annoying. Um, because uh, I basically I'm building up the logic as I imagine what it is it has to do, and I can tell that that is making it into something that seems more convoluted than it is, than it I think it has to be. But basically here, what I really am saying is local uh, mm, I don't know, log string or source log equals the path plus the strip extension of the get file name of the target path. No, 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 no. No, get file name. It's like output directory, file name of path. No, it's not output directory either. I'm wanting the original one. It is like the path plus a strip extension of the file name of path. Plus image log extension yeah so it's path no it's the directory of path no it's just path strip extension plus okay right what on earth it's strip extension path plus <laughs> I have really, just starting with the word path made me so confused by that. Basically, yeah. The path describes the currently loaded image. If I strip the extension off it and add image log, then I'll know if there's a log with this image. Right? If I do s log equals file type file. Now I'm going to have to stop soon, because that is 54 minutes. I'm not going to get to the position of running again just now. What I've done, glacially, as always, is I've kind of rearranged the log files so that separate log files are created for the latest animation and images. When you've created an animation, if you've got copy log on, then it will pop over those log files to wherever you've saved the animation. In either case, the log files will sit there in the app directory. And I've begun the code that will uh, copy those log files from the application directory or from wherever you've loaded a local image if there is a log file associated with it to wherever you save that image under the new file name 
with the image log extension. I've got close to the end of building that. When I've done that, there is another stage where I think I move Pung Gadget into Recursor just to make it the easiest way of the Pung Gadget being able to refer to the project information. I'm not keen to pass more information into the Pung Gadget, am I? What exact piece of information would it be? It would be whether or not log copying happens. Well, let me have a little quick look before I finish just now. Yeah. You know, I will do this. I will. I mean, the thing that, m if I do that, the thing that really makes it part of, uh, part of the recursor is just the image log extension bits, I think. So yeah, okay, I'll do that. But it's a, I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is pass in a flag, which by default will be true, which will be drawn from the project uh, copy render log flag when the Pung Gadget's opened by the image viewer. And I'll use that flag to decide whether or not this copy log process is actually carried out. And I'll do it next time.